Simply Stamping Sunday. I'm Doreen DeSebas from It Begins With Ink and Paper, and I'm really happy that you're joining me tonight, either live on Facebook, or on the replay on Facebook, or um, the posting on my YouTube channel. So you can find me in three different places. So I'm really happy um, to be here tonight. Let me just make sure everything is nice and straight and even so that we can have a good night. Here we go. All right, so this is week three of me sharing with you the ink and tiled stamp set and using the same colors, the same themed, the same color family, I guess I'll say, of cardstock and ink and only using ink, stamps, and paper. So we are, let's review what we've done so far with this series. Um, this was week one where we had this very subtle lots of love card using the ink and tiled set and we had a lot of hard stock ink and ink here and then we used the Calypso Coral and the Lost Lagoon and it was just a very simply stamped um, card and then on week two, we made this thank you card. And for this one, we used the very vanilla background again. And we focused more on the designer series paper. So we had a piece of the Calypso Coral paper in the back, and then three pieces of the fern paper that I just cut into thirds. A thank you with a piece of the Lost Lagoon cardstock and then on the inside of the card we had more of that designer series paper and just a stamped image so that was week two this is what we're making tonight we're going to use that calypso coral cardstock we're still going to use the designer series paper i'm introducing a different design this week but we are using that same piece we used from last week and we are using the petal pink ink Lost Lagoon and Calypso Coral. And this is another really easy peasy card to make. So let's get started. So for cardstock, for the Calypso Coral, I have three pieces. I'm going to start with a piece that is four and a quarter by 11, and I'm folding it on the five and a half inch mark or right in half. So we have that ready. Our other piece of Calypso Coral measures two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And our last piece is a half inch by two and seven eighths. So there we go with our Calypso Coral paper. For our very vanilla cardstock, we have a piece that is cut four by five and a quarter. That's going to go on the inside of the card. We have a piece that is three and three fourths by two and three fourths. That's going to be layered on that. And then we have three pieces of designer series paper. As I said, we're using that same piece from last week. Um, the back is the little tiny daisies or small flower like that. And then we're using this design, which gets all in Lost Lagoon. So I have a piece here that measures four by five and a quarter, same size as that piece of vanilla. And then I have a piece that measures three and a half by two inches. And then my final piece measures three quarter of an inch by four. And I'm gonna be cutting both of these pieces down once I'm done with my stamping. All right, so let's get to the stamping part. So I'm gonna actually, I didn't show you the inside of the card. And the inside of the card looks like um, this piece. And I am missing that piece. Where did it go? Stay. So I am going to have to cut that one again. That's a half inch by four inches. And then I just stamped on the inside. So let me show you how I go about cutting all that good stuff. So let me just grab my paper. Scraps because 
because I know I have a scrap of this that I can use instead of grabbing a brand new piece of paper. So I just want to check all of those scraps first and all. Okay, none of them are big enough, so I'm going to have to go with this one. I just need to cut a half inch off. So using my paper trimmer, I can do this in one of two ways. I can measure a half inch right here. I tend to not like doing it that way because I feel like I have a greater chance that my paper is going to move and it's just such a small piece to have on the paper cutter and most of it off the paper cutter. So we have a one and a half inches over on the side bar here. So I like going in for my half inch this way because all of my paper then is on the paper cutter and I'm, I have a much better chance that it's not going to move. And then this needs to be four inches across. So I am just going to trim that and that's our final piece that we need. So there we go. We'll put that aside with our other paper. Paper just it just fits, it's designed to fit this stamp set, so it is really nice to use it with this. So let's get our stamping done first, and then we'll start doing everything else. So I'm going to start by using my Calypso Coral ink. I am going to be using the large floral image. I want that and my leaf to be the center point of what I'm going to be stamping. So first I am going to stamp the inside of my card. There we go. I'm going to set that aside. And then I'm going to be stamping the smaller piece of vanilla paper. And I want, as I said, this to be the center piece. So I'm going to go right up tall almost to the top of the paper. There we go. So that is a focal point of our image. So let me set that aside. Next, I am going to be stamping with the Lost Lagoon. And I am going to be stamping, first of all, this large leaf. So I have this leaf image and I'm going to just bring this up so it's a little lower than the floral image but it still plays a big role on that piece of paper. While I have this out I am going to take this little splatter and I'm just going to add some of that and I'm going to do some off to make them lighter images. There we go. And then I need to clean this. So I am just going to wet a paper towel and clean this off. These are water-based inks, so you don't need heavy-duty cleaner. When I first started out, I used baby wipes. But I um, use baby wipes. I sometimes use uh, paper towels and cleaner. I also have a um, stamp scrubber that I use. Now I'm not stamping off with the petal pink. It's such a um, lighter color. So I'm just going to do a little petal pink there. And I think the one thing I want to change from my original card is I want to use the Lost Lagoon on the Just a Note. I'm going to see what that looks like on my Calypso Coral. So the one thing I always do once I put a stamp on is I check out how straight it's stamping. That's a little on an angle. So that just gives me enough of a clue for what I need to do to make it nice and straight when I stamp on my cardstock. 
and I like that better. I think it really jumps more than the coral on the coral did. So that will be a little different on our sample tonight. Okay, so for this, what I did was I did a little bit of just cutting at an angle. And I am going to put this on the larger piece of cardstock here. It's designer series paper, I meant to say. And I'm just going to add my adhesive. I'm going to add it to a spot that I can then trim off the side as well. just have a nice easy, even border around this so that's what it looks like put those pieces aside and now we're ready to start putting this card together so if you're watching the live tonight please say hello and tell me where you're watching from if you and do the same if you're watching the replay or if you're on YouTube taped version. I'd love to know where you're watching from. Um, take the time to follow my Facebook page or follow and like my YouTube channel. All right. So we put this piece onto the Clips of Coral. And I'm going to take this piece now to put on my piece of very vanilla cardstock. As you remember, this was on the inside of my sample, and I actually didn't have it all the way down to the end. I left a little so you could see the whole image of the whole stamped image. So that's what we're going to do on this one. Looks like I might be frozen. I apologize for that if that's the case. It should come up and running again. All right. So here we are on this. This is going to go on to the inside of the card. seal again. So next month, I've already got everything planned for my next month and what we're going to be doing for Simply Stamping Sunday. And we are going to be using the lovely leaf, excuse me, the layering leaves stamp set. And that is a great stamp set. It has so much potential. And we're going to be using the 2023 to 2024 in colors. So if you want to stamp along with me, now would be a good time to order that bundle. I will put the information in the comments so you'll have that to work from. It's a $24 set. And um, I think one of the things I love the most about it is actually the sentiments. And I'll be showing you that at the beginning of the month. So I have put on my background sheet of designer series paper. And I'm going to add that little piece of cardstock center that we're going to be putting this our centerpiece over. So I'm going to center that in the middle, both ways, centered here and up and down. And then I'm going to add my, add this piece here. Um, over it. What I love with what I'm showing you 
is that you can do so much with just stamps, sink, and paper. And if you're a beginner stamper, this is a great way to start because you don't need to spend a fortune on everything in the catalog. It's nice that we can just get started with the basics, but make some beautiful things with it. And here is tonight's card. So we'll just compare the, I want to just compare the ink choice for the sentiment. I stamped this one with just, with the Calypso Coral. So I went color and color, and with this one I used the Lost Lagoon. So let me just bring this up so you can see it a little closer. And be able to see the difference. Alright. So we have one more week of this set of this set of stamps and we're going to be making a great card next week and I'm going to show you a technique that uses just ink and paper but allows you to create multiple cards at once and it's a true time saver so be looking forward to that next week so this is it from Simply Stampin' Sunday. I'm so glad you were able to join me tonight. And I look forward to seeing you next week at the same time. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.